If you've watched my previous film, you'll see that I've taught you how to shape your eyebrows for your features and your bone structure. So the most beautiful way for your face has to your brows. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly where you should contour your face for your face. And there are certain features and lines in your face that dictate exactly where the perfect placement for this would be. Now, that's simply using the outer corner of your mouth and the top of your ear. So let me show you um, with a nice thin pencil. So I'm just gonna take a line from the outer corner of my mouth to the top of my ear. So this kind of shape. Now, this is the highest point of your contour. Everything further from here, just down here, is contour. Don't go higher than that. A lot of people, especially if you've got a fuller face, a rounder face, can't actually see where their contour goes. And just putting a little soft shadow very gently just really helps to redefine your features and just sharpen your bone structure. But if you can't see where your natural contour line is, this is a really, really great way by using your face to find out where to place it. I think there is so much confusion on where to place things that people just end up not bothering. So I want to teach you that actually if you look at your face and see where your features sit, you'll be able to find that perfect line. Now I had lots of teeth taken out when I was younger, so my cheekbones you know, are quite obvious and I can feel them and I can see a little bit of soft definition, but if you can't, this is brilliant. So I'm gonna be using the um, Kevin Aquan um, Sculpting Powder. Um, I'm gonna be using a flat Zoeva brush and I'm just going to put a little bit in there. When you put your powder into your product, make sure you really, really swirl it round and then swirl it around on your hand. That just makes sure that you don't get lots of powder that grips in one place and then you end up really struggling to soften it. So like I said, the line here, visualize that line under here, place the brush there and the line of contour. I'm gonna make it quite obvious, sits under there. Now, where does that line stop? You want to just soften this line right into the fine hairs and just into the corner of your ear so it disappears how far forward do you bring it? Well, you line it up with your pupil. So as your pupil line comes straight down here, it's very hard for me to see in the camera, that's where you stop. Because if you bring your contour too far forward, it just reads as a grubby mess. So you need to have that soft shadow just on the side of your face only. There are so many girls I've seen that have done that, you know, quite confidently. But when you look directly at someone, all you get is this grubby mark at the front and that doesn't look beautiful, it's not doing anything. You're creating the contour to create a nice depth, just to re-enhance and redefine your features. So just make sure it's from the pupil down and the contour doesn't come any closer than that and then you're good to go. So I'm just gonna redo that, just put it in my hand, re-soften it, and I'm just gonna re-enhance that line. I treat a contour as like a little smile in your cheekbone because I try and avoid having a straight line because again, your cheekbones aren't straight, they're slightly curved. So as you can see, I sort of dipped it down here and I just try and do that kind of shape with the brush. So obviously this is very hard and it's not blended, so bear with me. But putting a little smile into your cheekbone is quite a nice way of visualizing it. So you want to make sure that the contour then softens to nothing, so from that point, you just bring it down, 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 soften, 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 soften. So I wouldn't put foundation with this because it's just too heavy and it would just get really within the bristles. So I use it as a nice blending brush. So with confidence, it's nice and clean. You just really bash over that line, really softening it. So it just becomes like a lovely soft shadow. So I love the way that looks. It's just really soft. I mean, I haven't added any blush yet. It needs blusher just to take the edge off it because it looks kind of quite cold and hard just with the shadow, but there you go. I hope this has really helped you understand your facial structure. Um, I'm gonna be doing blusher next week, so I will show you how to do that. This is Speed Beauty. I'm not gonna do the other side. It's great for you to see the difference. Um, I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but hopefully you can see the difference and it's helped you enhance your cheekbones. Have a lovely day.